Hello gang, welcome to another nootropic summary video. Today's topic is a nootropic by the name of TAC653. TAC is a small molecule ampicine compound originally designed by Takeda Pharmaceuticals for combating depression. However, it has found more effective use as a cognitive enhancer. Its main mechanism is through selectively enhancing AMPA by binding to the receptor's allosteric site, acting as a positive allosteric, also known as an AMPA palm. AMPA is an important receptor for cognition, and it is the main glutamate subunit alongside NMDA. AMPA is formed of four subunits that combine to form tetramers. TARC potentiates all of these subunits, TARC 653 being an allosteric modulator rather than an agonist, improves its safety and effect profile in comparison to other compounds previously trialed. AMPA receptor agonists are likely not viable for clinical applications as they present a risk of inducing seizures and overexcitation-induced neurotoxicity at doses close to their therapeutic window. TAC possesses minimal direct AMPA agonist properties, providing a 419-fold safety margin against convulsions relative to therapeutic doses in rats. TAC-653 has been trialed on humans for cognitive enhancement and the antidepressant effect. In one study published by Transal Psychiatry, TAC enhanced Stroop scores for participants taking TAC at a dose of 0.5 mg. The ideal dose is more likely 1.5 to 3 mg from updated preliminary data and other sources. Ampapams tend to enhance mainly visual cortex function, However, they also enhance some other brain regions, one example being enhancing prefrontal cortex activity. However, NMDA seems more important for delay cell firing in the cortex than AMPA. That being said, AMPA still seems to fill quite an important role. TAC has a relatively good safety profile, with it passing phase one, having good ADMET predictions, and being tolerable in all studies using the compound. In a small amount of subjective cases, some dissociation has been noted when used at high doses or when in combination with NMDA antagonists or AMPA potentiating compounds. Intranasal use may potentially attenuate this potential issue, but it requires more investigation. The compound has quite a long half-life of about 10 to 30 hours at standard dosage. For pharmacokinetics, TARC is relatively ideal. However, it is nearly insoluble in water, with the main buffers used for dilution being PEG-400 and DMSO. It also takes a long time to dissolve at room temperature in these solvents. Subjectively, TARC is seen to enhance spatial cognition and Stroop IQ, with the average gain in users being about 5. 10 points, however, for a more objective measure, you can refer to the Stroop scores in the clinical studies. Contrary to spatial cognition, TARC seems to have little effect on focus, memory, and executive function. In conclusion, TARC 653 is a quite unique compound in the sense that most other compounds have not been seen to consistently increase IQ scores in users. It is already a selective compound, but using a PM on specific AMPA subunits could potentially bring even better results in terms of cognitive improvement. TAC-653 can be found at multiple vendors for research use, with the main vendor being Penchant Bio. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to support our research, subscribe and share it around. See you in the next one.